Hello, and welcome to another official Tribal Wars video tutorial. I'm Marshy from the International Community, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to send an attack, find barbarian villages, and how to begin farming them. If you are unfamiliar with what farming is, it's the act of sending troops at a village with the intent of taking that village's resources. Farming is an extremely important part of the game because it allows you to get more resources than your village would normally be able to produce. This makes it possible to get a larger army as well as build your village up much faster. The two most important things when farming are speed and haul capacity. So what troops are going to be the best to use and why? Well, let's take a look. First, we're gonna go into the barracks. And if you select just to the left of the name of a unit, it will give you a nice little pop-up that will show you that unit's stats. So the main things we're looking at are the carrying capacity and the speed. So as you can see, it takes spear fighters 18 minutes to travel one field, and they have a carrying capacity of 25. So if we were to compare that to the swordsman, for example, they take 22 minutes to travel each field and have a carrying capacity of 15. So as you can see, the spear fighters are significantly better at actually getting those resources and getting them back home quickly. Axemen as well are going to travel 18 minutes per field and have a carrying capacity of 10. So they can travel at the same speed, but they can't quite carry as much as the spear fighters. So in the barracks, spear fighters definitely win the slot as the best unit to farm with. You can essentially use whatever unit you want for farming, but the light cavalry will always rule the show. What makes this unit so great at farming is its ability to travel so far in such a short amount of time while having a great haul capacity. In addition to this, it also has a high attack, meaning you are less likely to lose a unit if a barbarian village gets a wall level or two. Barbarian villages do build slowly, and if a wall is built, it may kill some or all of your units so always attack with caution. Now that you know what farming is and what unit works best, how do we send an attack? Well, let me show you. There are multiple ways to send an attack in Tribal Wars and are all used for their own reasons. So the first way that I'm going to show you is actually by going into the rally point. And we can actually paste coordinates right in here or type them up however you prefer and you can select the village and the troops you want to send. This works really good when you have the exact coordinates ready or maybe you're just intending to copy and paste the coordinates from a notepad or something of that sort. The next way that I'm going to show you is by clicking into your map and then selecting a village and then we're picking the middle option that says village information and selecting send troops. This will essentially bring you to the same screen we were just on, however it will automatically fill in the village that you're sending to and again we can go ahead and attack. The last way that you can do it is by going back into the map and just like before we're clicking the village, however this time we're clicking send troops. This essentially allows you to skip a step and it will send you straight to the give command screen. Just as before, we can now send that attack right from this nice little pop-up here. So that is a nice one to use when you're actually trying to farm barbarian villages. Because it allows you to do it nice and quick, you can select the units and hit attack. However, something else that can actually save you just a little bit of time is by going into the rally point. Going into your troop templates, and you can actually make a template for farming villages, so that way when you're attacking a new barbarian village, you can just select the nice nifty button and it'll automatically fill in the units. So we're gonna go ahead and make one that is 10 spear fighters and 10 sword. We're gonna name this one farming. And we're gonna go ahead and create that. So now when we go into our map and we go to that barbarian village, we can now click send troops and over here we have the template that we've just filled in. So I don't have those actual units here with me right now, but if I did, it would automatically fill in the 10 
spears and the 10 swordsmen whenever I select that button. And as you make more, you can have a nice little list going here to just easily click them. For this one, as you can see, would put all the troops in or just our farming troops, and then you can send your attacks. So two final notes on farming. First, if scavenging is active on your world, you will likely want to send quite a few of your slower units on scavenging runs while keeping your faster units home to farm villages. Second, when you are farming villages, it's a good idea to put some scouts in the attack so that you know how many resources are left in the village. This will stop you from sending too many troops at the village and make you a lot more productive when you're farming. So that is all I have for you for this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.